It was the most colorful hat Thomas had ever seen. It was also the biggest. This hat would make the children happiest of all. So Thomas's driver put the big colorful hat into Thomas's cab. I found the biggest, brightest hat. The children will be pleased with that. And Thomas wished away to pick up the important package. Then Thomas chuffed to a junction. Toby was there. Toby was worried. The children have finished building their snowman, but they still don't have a hat for him. Thomas gasped. I have a hat for the children's snowman. I'll take it to them right away. Thomas pumped his pistons and raced to the town square. Hello, Percy. Hello, James. Percy and James look sad. Farmer McCall has lost his big brown hat. Now his sheepdog can't hunt the hat. The brass band haven't arrived. They're looking for the conductor's big hat. And Mr. Bubbles has lost his blue, red, green, and purple hat. Now he can't do any magic hat tricks. Thomas felt terrible. Cinders and ashes. I have all those hats in my cab. Percy and James were surprised. I wanted to help the children. I wanted to find a hat for their snowman. I wanted to make them happy. Then Sir Topham had arrived. Where is my important package, Thomas? I'm sorry, sir. Your important package is still at Knapford Station. I was trying to find a hat for the children's snowman. Now you don't have your package, and I have spoiled the children's fun. Sir Topham Hat looked cross. I'm sure I can put this right, sir. Very well, Thomas. So Thomas raced away as fast as his wheels could whir. Thomas puffed into Knapford Station. Sir Topham Hat's important package was put into his cab, and Thomas raced quickly away. Next, Thomas wished to Farmer McColl's farm. Farmer McColl and his sheepdog were looking for his big brown hat. I have your hat, sir. The children are waiting for you at the snowman party. So Farmer McColl and his sheepdog jumped into Annie, and Thomas steamed swiftly away. Then Thomas puffed to Marin Station. The brass band were still looking for the conductor's hat. I have your hat, sir. All aboard for the town square and the snowman party. So the conductor and the brass band climbed into Annie and Clarabel, and Thomas raced off. Thomas hurried to Maithwaite Station. Mr. Bubbles had been looking for his magic hat everywhere. I have your hat, sir. Hooray, Thomas! Now I can come to the party and do my magic tricks. So Mr. Bubbles bounced on board, and Thomas raced like the wind back to the town square and the children's snowman. Thomas chuffed into the town square. His axles ached, and his cheeks were rosy red. Here I am, sir. I have Farmer McCall and his sheepdog, the brass band, Mr. Bubbles, and your important package. Very good, Thomas. Sir Topham Hat opened his important package. Inside was a brand new top hat. Excellent, Thomas. Just what I needed. And this, children, may be just what you need. A hat for your snowman. The children cheered. And Thomas beamed from buffer to buffer. This was the grandest snowman on Sodor.